I can never really tell whenever live producer actually puts me live. The wheel is still spinning, but you know what? I think that I am live already, so I'm just going to get right into it. And so I got into it with an online internet marketing guru. Um, and so one of my favorite things that I like to do is I like to book discovery calls and strategy calls with a lot of internet marketing gurus. And I do this for a couple of reasons. Um, the main reason being is I want to do research on what people are being told on these discovery and strategy calls. And so I like to just every single month I make a list of gurus who I want to get on the phone with or members of their team, right? Because the bigger ones, we're not going to talk to the actual internet marketer. We're going to talk to their team. But I do this because I want to see what you guys are being told when it comes to marketing your business. And so most of the time, whenever I get on the phone with these gurus, now I'm, I'm, I'm pretty unknown. Like I'm, I'm nowhere near status to where any of these gurus probably even know who I am. I've only ran into one that, that recognized me and knew who I was. But for the most part, I'm getting onto these calls as one of you guys. Like as someone who's just starting out, has a business idea, and so I just kind of like to see what their team tells me because it helps me help you guys in a better way. Because if I don't know the those myths, those false beliefs that they're putting in your head, then there's no way that I can help you guys with a strategy that's going to be a re that's going to be realistic and that's actually going to help you move forward, right? And so I got on the phone with um, someone who is a YouTube ads expert. And, um, you know how the gurus like, and here's the thing that you have to realize about these gurus. A lot of these gurus are only geared towards their one system, right? They want to sell you that system. They want to sell you that step by step. But here's the problem with that is that a lot of us are hopping onto these calls and they're not actually asking the right questions when it comes to how our business is ran. They just make that one conclusion that their way, they're going to try to convince us that their way is the way that we should be running our business. And so I got um, on a call with an internet marketer who's pretty well known for the YouTube ads world. And you guys know I run YouTube ads for my $7 a month membership offer. And... Um, Again, I get on these calls as if I am just starting out and just present my business to them, right? And see what they would recommend for me. And he, again, it wasn't the actual internet guru, it was one of his salespeople, right? And so you you either get the internet marketing guru who is high pressure sales, like, hey, my way is the only way, or you get these little young punk salespeople who are trying to make their commission, right? They're gonna push anything on you. And so this time it was an actual call with the actual internet marketer, which I was like pleasantly surprised. And he tried to tell me that my $7 a month program one was going to be a complete bust because if I didn't charge more for that program, no one would join because they wouldn't see the value. <laughs> I kind of giggle because I almost have a thousand members now. And the second thing that he told me was that there was no way I was going to be able to get YouTube ads to work for my business model. I was charging way too less. I was never going to get a return on my ad spend. And I tried to explain to him how my funnel works and how I have like a 54% conversion rate for my, he was just not, he, he was not having it. He said, this will, this strategy that you're trying to go down is not going to work for you. You're not going to ever be able to sell this offer on YouTube ads. And plus your offer sucks because no one's going to buy it. And so, I just kind of got into it and then I was like, actually, you you want to see my numbers? Like what? And he's like, what? And, and then he's like, oh, 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 and started backpedaling. Then he's like, oh, shit, this girl has actually made something and now she has the money. So then he tried to upsell me, like sell me the bigger package, right? And I was like, no, no, no. I was like, you, I, this is not going to be a good fit for me because one, you told me that my business model was going to be unsuccessful before knowing the exact things that I need to actually do to move my business forward. And so I know if I have sales calls like that with internet gurus, I know that you guys are having those sales calls too. And so that was a couple of weeks ago because as you guys know, I've been shifting and pivoting my marketing positioning a little bit different because I had a really good talk with my mentor. I have one of the best mentors. His name is uh, Nick Peterson. I also have another lovely mentor named Jeff Moore. They're both part of 
this mastermind that I'm in. And Nick was actually the very first person to, to say, Laurel, your $7 offer is freaking genius. And here's everything that you need to do in order to move your business into the next level. But he said, here's the thing, as you are shifting and scaling into your, the way that your business is, the way that you want your business to run, you're not good at Facebook ads. And I was like, what? And he's like, it's not Facebook advertising that, that you're good at. He's like, anyone can push buttons. He's like, what really makes you different than what a lot of people are doing when it comes to Facebook advertising is you have a television background. You've got Emmy Awards. You know how to create the content that's actually going to make those Facebook ads work. He's like, your magic, your secret sauce is not Facebook advertising. It is the video marketing strategy that you are implementing using Facebook ads as a vehicle to get your content out there. You're really a video marketing expert. You have been for over 19 years. You know, some of the biggest television companies have trusted me with their marketing. So that was a really pivotal moment in my business for me. And so whenever I wanted to make that change, I started, you know, just kind of getting on some sales calls just to kind of see what internet gurus are, are trying to sell just so that I can just kind of flip the switch. And so whenever I was going to take my business to scaling as far as like amplifying my own brand and moving from just being a Facebook ads expert to being a video marketing expert, I created a 90 day plan for myself. And over this past weekend, I was at my, my mastermind. We did it virtually. And my mentor was teaching this lesson and I had an aha moment. And I'm, I hope that this will give you guys an aha moment too. And he was talking about like, so there's this like military plane company, right? And so they are doing a study on, they have all of this new bulletproof material and they want to figure out where on the military planes they should put this bulletproof shield material. And so the study that they did was, okay, all of these planes that are coming back from war, where are the bullet holes? Where are the bullet holes on those planes, right? And so they start, they're like, well, a lot of these are on the fuselage. Some of these are below the wing, right? And so you would think that, hey, that's where we need to put the bulletproof armor on it, right? Where the most bullet holes are. 100% wrong. We're looking at the wrong data. We're looking at the wrong data because we shouldn't be looking at the planes who survived and made it home. We should, looking at, we should be looking at the planes that didn't make it home, that got shot down. That's where we should put the bulletproof armor, is wherever those planes have holes in it. And so that's how a lot of internet marketers go into our business. They are looking at what everyone else is doing and trying to make you fit the mold. They're trying to put their bulletproof armor in places where they and their business were able to survive by doing this. But they're, but they're looking at the wrong data. How many of you guys are struggling right now because you're trying to make this, this one thing that you paid thousands of dollars fit into your business, right? We look at all of the gurus. I'm not going to mention any names, but we look at all, just think, you, you have these gurus in your head, right, that are promising that you're going to get results if you pay for this high ticket thing. You see all of these success stories, right? Those success stories are like the planes that are making it home with the bullet holes. The story that those people are not telling, they're not looking at the data of what did the thousands of people, right, what did the thousands of people who bought this program, why didn't they survive? That's what we should be looking at. Not the success stories, but why did the thousands of people who also bought this program did not survive? I actually looked at that data and I myself looked at my own data of what worked and what didn't work whenever I got myself to my first six figures. And how am I gonna get to my first half a million? I, I do not have a million dollar a year business. I do not want a million dollar a year business, but I always want to optimize my business as best I can, right? I do not want employees. I want my wife and I and our virtual assistant to be able to run our business. And so all of these fixes that all of these internet gurus want to tell me 
is that I need to scale my agency, which could not be further from the truth. It's the furthest thing from what I've chosen to optimize my life. And so what I did was I looked at the unsuccessful stories. I got on the phone with tons of people who did not, their marketing did not make it. It did not survive. And I looked at the data of what they did and created a whole other, I, I flipped it, right? When people told me that a $7 offer would never work because people who pay low dollar don't value it. I believe that that is total BS. Some of the best stuff that I have valued the most are things that were given to me for free, honestly. I have been given so many amazing strategies and tactics for free from people who just were, you know, looking to help. Thousand, I value that advice the most because that person took their time and spent time didn't charge me a dime. I better damn well take action because that person's time is valuable to me and I know how valuable that person's time is to them. And so I actually value the things that I'm given a break on more than the things that I pay a lot of money for. And that's just the way that I think. That's the way that my mind thinks. And so what I did was I actually put together a 90 day plan for myself. And I literally every single day wrote everything that I did down and I also shot a video and I thought, you know what? I'm going to turn my own 90 day video marketing plan into something that you guys can do in your business. This has been proven. This is going to help you get your foot in the door. It's not fast and sexy. I'm gonna say this, it's not a fast and sexy way, but it is a proven way that I have not only gotten myself to my first and second six figures using this strategy, but I've gotten dozens of my students inside my $7 program to that point using these exact same strategies. And what we're doing is we're looking at what's not working, not only in my business, but what's not working in my students' businesses. And then we create strategies and roadmaps based off of that. Not based off of all of the success stories that are the survivors of the marketing world, right? We want to look at what's not working for so many people who are struggling right now and work on things that's going to help them get to that next level. So next time that you see someone on Instagram and they look like they have the most amazing life or they have the most amazing system, we have to take one step back and say, is this strategy actually going to work for me? Or is this guru trying to push their system, their way on me? And that's why before people come into my premium program or before people come into my agency, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to create their own roadmap. And people always ask me, Laurel, why don't you just, you know, I just maybe want to look at your Facebook ads course. I'm like, I don't have a Facebook ads course. I don't believe that you could just have a course and make it work for everyone. It's just not this, you know, copy and paste kind of thing where every business is different. We don't just want to put that bulletproof armor, right? on the bullet holes of businesses that are booming or surviving. We want to see how can I help this small business owner? How could I make my strategy work for them? Not in a way that it works for me, but in a way that's going to work for them. So I am just, I have put together a video version of my 90 day plan and it drips every single day. And I showed one of my mentors what I had put together and he's like, wow, he's like, this could be like a big ticket for you. And I said, nah, (laughs) in true Laurel style, I'm like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to, my whole point was not making it a high ticket. My point was to get this plan in as many small business owners hands because a lot of people need a realistic pathway. Now, if you want this video, it drips day to day. You can't skip a, you can't skip ahead. You, I literally give you one thing to do. And so as I'm doing it for my business, you guys are going to see how I amplified my business over the last 90 or so days. You're going to know exactly when to run a Facebook ad. So it starts with an organic strategy and starts sprinkling in the advertising on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. So this is literally a 90 day plan that you could follow sequentially. And by the end of the 90 days, you are going to have your entire video marketing plan done for you. And not only that, but for the next 90 days as well. And, you know, when my, when my mentor said, well, how much are you going to sell it for? You know, cause he's like, wow, he's like, 
he's looking at the course materials. He's looking at all of the 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 manuals, and he's like, um, I don't know. That could be that that could be like a 1997, you know, course. That'll be a nice you know thing that you can sell outside of what you're doing with your premium. And you guys know me. It's not going to be 1997. It's not going to be 997. It's not going to be 497. It's not even going to be 197. It's not even going to be 97. I decided to price this 90 day video marketing plan done for you on a drip by drip video system for 90 bucks. So that's $1 a day. That's it. So if any of you guys want access to that, let me know. But I hope that today out of anything that you guys understand why there are so many unsuccessful stories versus success stories. And we just have to figure out, is this person that I'm hiring to help me doing it because they really know my business or am I just going to be a, how do you say this, an income claim on their personal profile? I don't know about you, but I had that done one time to me where I signed up with someone and then that person went and bragged about their $30,000 day or something like that. And I felt like shit. I was like, this person literally just sold me this so that they can go and put on their wall their income claim. It's BS. And it just, you know, it hurts my, it hurts my heart to see people treated that way. And so Anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know I created this for myself, but I want to share it with you guys. And so if you want to come along the 90 day video marketing journey with me, you got you guys are going to get 90 days of video lessons that you just literally I try to keep them really short. I give you all the worksheets. I made all of my scripts, all of my ads, all of my ad scripts. Everything's done for you. I literally just threw everything I did for myself, just put it onto a membership portal and was like, you know what, my students or even some of you guys who aren't my students yet. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it to them, pretty much. And uh, anyway, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. I hope that you guys know that I truly am, you know, looking out for you and I'm constantly trying to figure out ways that I can help you guys even more. So I hope that you guys have a blessed day and thank you for having coffee with me today. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.